Today we will try to tell about Lockheed YF-12 aircraft developed by NASA. The Lockheed YF-12 was a prototype interceptor aircraft built by Lockheed Corporation in the early 1960s as part of a program to develop a high-speed, high-altitude interceptor aircraft for the United States Air Force. It was based on the Lockheed A-12, a reconnaissance aircraft that was also developed for the same purpose. The YF-12 was capable of flying at speeds of up to Mach 3.35, approximately 2,200 miles per hour, and at altitudes of up to 80,000 feet, making it one of the fastest and highest flying aircraft of its time. The YF-12 was designed to be armed with air-to-air -air missiles and to intercept and shoot down enemy aircraft at long ranges. Its primary mission was to defend the United States from Soviet bomber attacks. It was equipped with a radar system that was capable of detecting enemy aircraft at ranges of up to 100 miles, and it was armed with three AIM-47 Falcon missiles, which were designed to be launched at ranges of up to 100 miles. The YF-12 was powered by two Pratt & Whitney J-58 engines, which were similar to those used in the A-12. These engines were capable of producing a combined thrust of over 60,000 pounds, which enabled the YF-12 to reach its high speeds and altitudes. The aircraft was also equipped with a complex system of fuel tanks and pumps that allowed it to fly for extended periods of time at high speeds and altitudes. Only three YF-12 prototypes were ever built, and they were tested extensively by the United States Air Force in the early 1960s. The YF-12 program was eventually cancelled, however, due to a number of factors, including its high cost, the development of intercontinental ballistic missiles, and the emergence of new air defense technologies. Despite its short lifespan, the YF-12 was an important aircraft in the history of aviation. Its development and testing helped to advance the state of the art in high-speed, high-altitude flight, and its design and technology influenced the development of later aircraft, such as the State Route 71 Blackbird. Today, one of the surviving YF-12 prototypes is on display at the National Museum of the United States Air Force in Dayton, Ohio, where it serves as a reminder of the achievements of the aerospace industry during the Cold War. Thank you very much for being with us. Click the subscribe button next to get the best videos.